Hello, I'm Steve Wilcox with Avid Worldwide Training. This presentation will show you how a user can view iNews scripts on an iPad and how to set up the web forms which are necessary in iNews. So the question we've had from users is, can iNews output to an iPad so that they can use iPads to replace printed scripts for anchors? Yes, it's actually quite easy to view any iNews queues or stories on an iPad by using iNews Web Access. Web Access allows direct, read-only browsing of the iNews database through the web browser. Users can navigate to any area of the system based on their access privileges. Once they're in a script, they can move to the next script in the rundown through a hyperlink, allowing them to quickly and easily scroll the entire rundown. To use Web Access, the user enters the following URL. They will need the server name or IP address of their iNews servers. Once they've entered the username and password, they'll be logged into the system and the directory panel will be displayed. Moving around is very intuitive since folders, queues, and stories are all hyperlinks. So for a look at how this works, we'll grab our iPad and open Safari. Then use a bookmark shortcut to jump to the iNews Web Access page. As an iNews user, we'll log in with our normal iNews user account and password, then navigate with the touchscreen to the show rundown and queue which contains the scripts we want to view. Once in a rundown, we open up a script with a touch screen. The display will depend upon the HTML form we have set up in iNews. With the script open, I can scroll up or down the page or navigate to the next or previous page. And of course, we can always return to the rundown list view. Display of the directory panel, queue view, and story view is configurable using HTML templates. Different templates can be used for different areas of the system, or a single set of templates can be used for all areas. The customization extends to the elements within each story, allowing administrators to determine how or if production queues, form fields, presenter text, and closed caption text are displayed. If you are using a version of iNews prior to 3.0, refer to Chapter 14 of your iNews Setup and Configuration Manual for instructions on configuring web access sessions. If you are using version 3.0 or later and have the new setup and configuration manual, refer to chapter 15. If you have questions about iNews or using iNews on the iPad, submit your question on community.avid.com in the Broadcast Newsroom forum or contact your broadcast account manager. If you don't know who your account manager is, please go to avid.com forward slash us forward slash resources forward slash how to buy.